Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about profile data in Power BI, which is going to help us how to get the statistics of the data or the data set that we are working on, how to examine the underlying data structure, and also how we can determine the anomalies in our data. That's how we are going to get a good data set, which is going to be the basis of our report, visuals, and Furthermore, we can create the different dashboards. So if you want to know more, so please stay tuned till the end of this video. What is data profiling? Profiling data is about studying the nuances of the data, that is determining anomalies, examining and developing the underlying data structures and querying data statistics such as row counts, value distributions, minimum and maximum values, averages, error, valid data, and so on. Now the second question arises, why is it important? Well, this concept is important because it allows you to shape and organize the data so that interacting with the data and identifying the distribution of the data is uncomplicated. Therefore, helping to make your task of working with the data on the front end to develop a report elements near effortless. This is going to make your effort less in order to develop the report. Let's consider a scenario where we are gonna use this. Assume that you are developing a report for the sales team at your organization. You are uncertain how the data is structured and contained within the tables. So you want to profile the data behind the scene before you begin developing the visuals. Power BI has inherent functionality that makes these tasks user-friendly and straightforward. That's how we can take the advantage of data profiling in Power BI. Now let's consider the different functionalities available in data profiling in Power BI. The very first is column quality, which shows you the percentage of the data which is valid or there is an error or what are the data that is empty. In an ideal situation, uh, whenever we are working on data, you want to see 100% of the data should be valid. There should be no error or there should be no null values. You should remember that by default, Power BI query examines the first 1000 rows of the data. But if you want to change it, you can change it from the status bar and select column profiling based on the entire data set. Now, the second thing comes the column distribution, which is going to show us how the data has been distributed. That means how many are the distinct values or how many are the unique values within our data set or the table for which we are doing the data profiling. Here, it worth to note that distinct values are all values in a column including duplicates and null values, while unique values do not include duplicates or null values. Therefore, distinct tells you the total count of how many values are present, while unique values tells you how many of those values are not duplicate or nulls. So please keep this thing in your mind. Now, let's come to the column profile. Column profile gives you more in-depth look in the statistics within the column. That means whenever we have to see mean, max value, valid, invalid, or we are going to see the average uh, if we have statistics uh, columns in our data set, then this would column provides you several different uh, values even including the count. For example, if your original database had 100 rows, you could use this row count to verify the 100 rows were in fact imported correctly. Additionally, this row count will show you how many rows that Power BI has deemed as being outliners and therefore errors, empty rows and strings and the mean and max value or the average value which will tell you the smallest and the largest value in a column mean and max while the average would tell you the mean value of the 
column. So that's how it's very important. Now let's head over to the real report and see how this works. Over here you can see I have a sales report. In this sales report, if I'll go transform data tab, what you have to do, you have to come from home tab to the view tab and there you can select these different options where you will see column distribution, column profile and column quality. I'm ignoring right now the monospaced and the show white space. Show white space is gonna show you the white spaces and new line characters while the monospaced is gonna display preview content using a monospaced font. Let's do this one by one. Very first we are gonna check the column quality over here. And you can see each and every column over here are showing you three different options. One is valid, error and empty. As I discussed earlier, our column quality should be 100% valid. And in this scenario, you will see my all columns have 100% column quality. There is no error or empty data. So that's how it should be ideally. And if it's not, if there are empty values, you maybe want to replace those empty values with the average of the column or some other technique that you have to find out yourself or you want to remove them. Same for the error. You can find out the reason of the error. So if you want to resolve the error, you can do that or you can also filter it out. Now we'll check secondly the column distribution. As I told you, column distribution is going to give you the distinct and the unique values. Distinct values are the total number of count of rows in a column, which can include the duplicate as well as the null values. However, the unique is only calculate the unique values where there's no duplicate and no null values are present. Now, the last one, which is the most important one, is the column profile, which would, would give you the in-depth look in the statistics within the column. This column provides several different values, such as count, error, empty, distinct, unique, NAN, means not a number, zero, minimum, maximum, average, standard deviation, even, odd, so many different values you can uh, have a look. And this would help you to find the outliners in your data set. By default, column profiling based on top 1000 rows. However, if you want to make it on the basis of your whole data set, you can change it in Power BI. Just go over here and now there are two options. One is column profiling based on top 1000 rows and second column profiling based on entire data set so click another one and here you will notice that now the column profiling is based on entire data set after that you can uncheck those so that you have your normal view in the power query editor and you go into the file and close and apply that's the only last thing you need to do after doing your all the transformation of the data validating the data checking whether it's uh, good or bad data and then you can start building your power bi visuals i hope you like today's video for more videos stay tuned to our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates mm -hmm.